Why Women Shave Their Legs Under the reign of Queen Elizabeth I, who was a trendsetter of her time, women weren't expected to remove body hair but leg hair? No need to shave. So why did that change? The simple answer is World War II. During the war, the U.S. experienced a stockings shortage as the government redirected the use of nylon from stockings to war parachutes. For women, the nylon shortage meant having to bare their legs in public. To be deemed socially acceptable, women began to shave their legs. Why girls wear pink and boys wear blue? In a baby breast, blue is for men and pink for girls. But things are not always in this way. In the 1900s, colors began to be used as sex signals. For example, a June 1918 article from a well-known fashion magazine states, the general rule of thumb is to accept pink for boys and blue for girls. More assertive and stronger color, more suitable for the boy, while blue, more subtle and elegant, more beautiful for that girl. When future parents learn the sex of their newborn, they start shopping for girl or boy goods. Retailers notice and personal clothing to increase their sales. Mostly, this trend seems to have been stuck. Why women's and men's buttons are on opposite sides? Odds are you own a button-up shirt. Take a look at which side the buttons are on. If you're a man, chances are the buttons are on the right. If you're a woman, you'll likely find your buttons on the left. There's an interesting historical reason for this. Melanie M. Moore who created women's blouse brand Elizabeth and M. Clark, explains, when buttons were invented in the 13th century, they were, like most new technology, very expensive. Since most people were right-handed, this made it easier for someone standing across from you to button your dress. Why Men Stop Wearing High Heels For generations, a pair of high heels has signaled feminine beauty. But before then, high heels were a staple in men's closets. When the soldier stood up in his stirrups, the heel helped him to secure his stance so that he could shoot his bow and arrow more effectively. About the 15th century, when Persian-European cultural exchange heightened, European aristocrats adopted high-heeled shoes as a symbol of their wealth, and men began to renounce the impractical high heel. Why We Paint Our Nails did you know that the world's oldest manicure set, made from solid gold dating to 3200 BC, is over 5,000 years old? The ancient Babylonians, who created that set, were known to have loved caring for their nails. Ming Dynasty elites were also fans of painted nails, using a mixture of egg whites, gelatin, and rubber to dye their nails crimson and black. In England, Elizabeth I, a fashion icon of her day, was widely admired for her manicured nails and beautiful hands. During the 1920s and 30s, the French manicure was in. Why long hair became a thing for women While hair trends have fallen in and out of fashion, one thing across cultures and millennia has remained fairly constant, the expectation that women would have long hair. We've seen it from the depiction of a long-haired Aphrodite to St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians, in which he wrote, if a woman has long hair, it is a glory to her. Kurt Sten, author of Hair, A Human History, says that women almost always have longer hair than men. You have to eat well, have no diseases, no infectious organisms, you have to have good rest and exercise. He adds, to have long hair, you have to have your needs in life taken care of, which implies you have the wealth to do it. Why Some People Sag Their Pants in 2014, the Ocala, Florida, City Council passed an ordinance banning the practice of sacking, wearing one's pants below the waistline or, in some cases, the buttocks. An offender would receive a $500 fine or six months in jail. Similar bans have surfaced from New Jersey to Tennessee. The rationale behind this sort of legislation usually goes something like this. Sagging represents a dangerous lack of self-respect and an embrace of gang culture. It is a symbol of moral decline. Why we wear wedding bands on the ring finger? With this ring, I they went. The ring is slipped onto the fourth finger of the left hand, and there you have it, 
a bride and groom. But have you ever asked yourself why we slip our wedding bands onto the ring finger? The tradition can be traced back to Roman times. The Romans believed that a vein ran directly from the heart to the ring finger. They named it the Vena Amoris, vein of love. Naturally, they thought it'd be fitting to place one's wedding band on that finger. Quite romantic. By the way, modern science has proven that all fingers have a vein connection to our hearts. Why men wear ties? Ties. So what do men wear them? Most neckwear historians agree that the necktie grew in prominence around the time of the Thirty Years' War in the 1600s. King Louis XIII liked them as sartorial adornments. Indeed, he made these early neckties mandatory dress for formal gatherings and named them after the Croatian mercenaries, cravat. To this day, that means necktie in France. Curiously, Croatia celebrates National Cravat Day every October 18. In 2003, they commemorated the holiday by tying an 808-meter tie around the historic Roman amphitheater in Pula. Why Women Shave Their Armpits Women and men have had armpit hair for millennia. So what do roughly 95% of women shave or wax their underarms? We can thank a 1915 Harper's Bazaar advertisement. The ad told women that modern dancing and sleeveless dresses were the next big thing and that objectionable hair was out. The ad featured a photograph of a young woman in a sleeveless dress. Her arms were arched over her head, revealing perfectly clear armpits. Within a few years and after an onslaught of advertisements promoting the trend, Hairless armpits were a thing and natural hair was something embarrassing. 